Romania. And these two actually met last year's European Games in the first round, and Arodei was the victor on points three to one. Judges from Ukraine, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Republic of Korea, and Hungary. Turkey's man right there, Ikutsin, final instructions. And he uh, rolled his way through his first bout. Yeah, against Charles Antonio Cox from Barbados. Here is his opponent from Romania. Aradoe, who defeated Yusufu Unkobeza of Uganda, also on a unanimous points decision. Aradoe, at the European Games, he went out in the last 16 to Croatia's eventual runner-up, Gabriel Vilcic. Aradoe, I think we'll get a sight here. He's quite tall. Aradoe. Slight height and reach advantage over the Turkish boxer. A step up for both after their first bout. See already Aradei using that jab. Already a slightly more sedate pace than our last <laughs> encounter. Yes, we're all catching a breath. Such a good combination. Wow. And an answer. I think Aradei took a lot of those on the gloves. Yes. As, as I said, these men have met before. a close one at the European Games, so know each other's qualities and what they bring to the table. Rodoye seems to have found the measure. He's patient, but when he goes in, he goes in with combinations. There's some steam in his punches. His way through round one, and not as much, you just demonstrated. Not much from Aikutsen so far, just countering, trying to. Ooh, that was a right hand that scored on the Turkey. This one, the closest to a chess match that we've seen so far. Good left on the retreat from Ikutsen. Rodai <laughs> really conserving. He doesn't waste anything. Body shot in there from Aradai. Both men having success. Who can make an impression on the judges in these final few seconds? Very little to choose between them. Optics would say the blue corner, uh, Aradoye, uh, but we'll see. And three to Aradoye and two to It's that Aikutsen. close, yes. It's, can't really argue with that. No. So that's basically a, a draw for all intents yes. and purposes. Yeah, an even round. Yeah. Certainly Aradoy impressed early on. He had a couple of big flurries, but uh, he 
didn't continue the pace. You know, he takes, he seems to take breathers. And Kutzen was able to, to score during those times. Just saw on the replay. Very nice rally. Flurry on the counter from Ikutsen, and he'll need to produce more of that. He is slightly behind. But really not enough to make him change anything. No. Right? I mean, he's right here. He doesn't have to panic. Doesn't have to win the round, but uh, maybe he does. Yeah, I think he probably <laughs> like does, because he's behind on two of the right. scorecards. He needs to shade it. Right. And he's having some success on the counter. He's made a good start, has I Kutzen, to this second round. Uh, Aradoy is not landing with the jab. I Kutzen is countering well, and he's getting oh, through yes. again. Kutzen looks like he's figured something out. Kutzen using the jab. Aradoy he has used that body shot on occasion. It's a far different round for Akutsen. Yeah, he's, he's getting through a lot more. The reach doesn't seem to bother him as much maybe as it did early, which is expected as he problem solves his way. Aradoi saying not hitting the target with that jab. You can see Ar Aikutsen growing in confidence. Yeah, he seems to have figured the distance out made Aradoye miss that was better from Aikutsen good response from Aradoye and now it's a trade in the middle of the ring both men digging deep and throwing with intent Aradoye even though he's the taller man acquitted himself pretty well in that exchange Maybe this is the pattern from now on in. Left from Aradoi. Clipson taking a few more than he did in the first half of the round. Now on his horse. There's a couple of rights. Aradoi trying to the body again. Wow, what an interesting yes. contest because it's changed dramatically it in has. nature. You had the the reach and the jab of Aradoi and the Aikutsen trying to get inside, and now they're both trading. And the scorecard reflects wow. it. Well, it's even Stevens. It is. Um, I think just one judge gave that round to Aradoi and the other four to Aikutsen. So... Just what you'd like. Round three, everything on the line right now. Three judges have it all square. One judge has Aradoi in front by two points, and one judge has Aikutsen in front by two points. So it is as even as it could be. All or nothing in the last round, and Aikutsen was definitely on top, certainly in the early stages of that second round. Aradoi fired back well, and seemed to have more success when they were trading at close quarters, which is very different from round one. And both men are proving that they can take the best the other man has. Can they continue here in the final three minutes? Aradoi starts with the jab. Both men a little circumspect the start of this final round. It's like Aradoi's got back into his old rhythm from round one. 
Knutson really, maybe he's gearing up for a final, you know, minute and a half or two minute push because he's conserving right now. He's doing nothing really. Yeah, could be the ploy. Well, after the I mean, furious activity of round two, it's a bit of a standoff here. Given the situation, I'm sure. We'll crank it up with a minute or so to go. Now I could some starting to move forward. Left hook from I could And here he comes. Now I'm gonna say I thought the fireworks were going to start, but it's a bit of a break. Doesn't seem to, you know, give away the first minute. He'll do hardly anything. Yeah. Saving himself for a big finale. Lands the right to Zykutsen. It's through with the right again. Odoi not at all fearful. Continues to stalk. You know, some judges like the pursuer in a close bout. Left from Kutsun and steps out of harm's way. Last 30. Wow, it's it's not been conclusive so far. Round three, was that a low blow? Kutsun's okay to continue. 20 seconds. Could be a vital 20 seconds right over the top from Ikutsen. Oh, this is so close. Jeffrey has told them to stop. 10 second clapper. Can anyone land one more punch before the end? It's Ikutsen with a combination that might have just won it for him. And he gets on his bike before the end. He thinks he's done enough. That wow. combination with about five, six seconds to go might yep. have put it in his face. I just wonder about that first minute that clearly he was saving a, a big push. Uh, not much to choose between these two at 80 kilos. Wow, this is going to be heartbreak for one of the men. Oh. Yep. It's a nervous moment. We await the decision. Agonizing for these two. Kutsen thinks he's got it. <laughs> Roar of delight from Khan I Kutsen. Oh, or was that ring ring A? Beg your pardon. Oh, no. But it is I could oh, who gets it. So we had the Ring A announcement. Yeah. <laughs> through us all. <laughs> that was... Through us all. Oh. And it's three to two. High end drama. Yeah, that was as close as we've seen all day. And a bitter disappointment for Aradoye, the Romanian was right there just the, the it's funny that the, the style of the Kutsen it's a little deceptive I think because he's his he's much more precise his punches were landing and he wasn't wasting I, ju I just wondered if that minute of passivity at the start yes. of the last round yeah, I was yeah. curious I think, as you say, he was saving himself for a big finish. That second round was thrilling, though, yeah. when they went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh. And uh, just seeing there, very close on the scorecards. One judge giving Mike Kutzen every round.